Good morning, friends. Uh, my students. So, uh, so far uh, in the class, uh, we have discussed about many things in the pavement design. Uh, I just uh, give a brief introduction or uh, give a brief thoughts about what are the things we already covered in the syllabus about the subject. Uh, so far uh, in the subject, uh, we are done with uh, the pavement introduction, introduction about the design of pavement, then uh, uh, types of pavements, different types of pavements, desirable characteristics of the pavement, different layers in the pavement, uh, such as uh, subgrade, subbase course, base course, surface course and its functions as well. Uh, then we discussed about the fundamentals of the basic fundamentals of the design. Uh, such as the stresses in the design, vertical stresses, horizontal stresses, formula to calculate those stresses. Then we discussed about single layer theory that is Bosinus theory. And also we discussed about uh, two layer theory that is uh, Burmester's theory. And also we have covered most of the problems uh, about stresses and uh, uh, Bosinus theory as well as uh, Burmester theory. The next, uh, also we have discussed uh, about the factors affecting pavement design. <clears throat> okay, so next thing uh, that we are going to discuss in, the, in this video is equivalent single wheel load. <clears throat> that is ESWL. Okay, so before the uh, going uh, for the equivalent single wheel load, we will just uh, uh, go through what exactly is this equivalent single wheel load. So usually uh, the vehicles are provided with dual wheel assembly or tandem dual wheel assembly to the rear axle. And the Hindi axles again more than one wheel could be one the axle is one side or the other wheel is usually single wheel no is just in order to increase the capacity load carrying capacity of the vehicle we provide the axle with dual wheel uh, assembly. But for the design process, the magnitude of the single wheel load is considered. And then, pavement design single wheel load the magnitude consider Okay. So hence, a single wheel load that produces same effect, okay, as that of a dual wheel assembly at any depth is called as equivalent single wheel load. And then, equivalent single wheel load. And then, it is a single wheel load. It is a single wheel load that produces same effect. In the effect of Reno, here uh, in pavement design, the effect is measured in terms of deflection and vertical stress. Iga single wheel load at certain depth. Iga uh, pavement mele, uh, for example, here you can see, so once you apply certain load on the pavement, at certain depth, its effect will be there. So now, for example, this will consider it as dead, Z. This is a wheel load P, this is a Z. So now at this depth, due to this wheel load P, there will be deflection as well as vertical stress. So we call it as sigma Z. So now these are the effects of this wheel load. So now when you consider the dual wheel load assembly or dual wheels, so which is having P and P, at the same depth, at the same depth, if even if this uh, this delta S, we will consider it as the deflection due to single wheel load and sigma z s is uh, the vertical stress due to single wheel load. So now when a dual wheel load assembly is considered at the same depth even this will cause deflection. This is uh, deflection due to dual wheel load uh, dual wheel assembly we will call it as uh, delta d and vertical stress sigma z d. It is a uh, vertical stress caused due to dual wheel load assembly at certain that Z. So in this case, if sigma S is equal to sigma D and sigma uh, delta S is equal to delta D and sigma S Z S is equal to sigma Z D, then this P is a equivalent wheel load of this dual wheel load assembly 2P. Single wheel load is at Z D. What is the effect of this load? If this effect is equal to the effect produced by dual wheel load assembly at the same depth, then this single wheel load is considered as equivalent single wheel load of dual wheel load assembly. This is the meaning of ESWL. Okay, so 
Now the concept of ESWL is shown here. Uh, if you can see this figure, here we are having dual wheels. So you wait the wala, these are nothing but dual wheels. Magnify Mada Kirudo. See here, if this will be usually how the axle is, uh, dual wheel axle will be there. Okay. So I am considering one set of the dual wheels. So this distance is separated by D. Here you can see the dual wheel uh, dual wheels are separated by distance D. Then uh, the contact area is always assumed to be circle. pavement mail contact area. So this is assumed to be circle and the radius is A. Radius of contact area is A. So now S is the center to spell the center spacing of dl wheels again uh, e wheel center in the e wheel center distance in a tv yes santa tv so now therefore s is equal to d clear spacing of the dual wheels plus 2a 2a and reno either radius a irutta either radius a irutta so d plus a plus a therefore s is equal to d plus 2a now uh, on dual wheels there is a load acting it is p okay p is a load on each wheel D is a clear spacing between the vehicles. S is center to center spacing between the vehicles, which is S is equal to D plus 2A. So now, here you can see, here I have made two lines. <clears throat> One is at a distance of D by 2 and the other is distance of at 2S. Now, up to a depth of D by 2. And the pavement contact surface is in the D by 2 matter. So up to a depth of D by 2, each wheel load P acts independently so you load re dual wheel load assembly kottaga naavu idr load hang act agutta so idr load ee tara distribute agutta ee ee wheel idu amel ee wheel idu enagutta distribution ee tara distribute agutta so now ee point of contact enaitala distribution idu so this distance depth enanta consider martivi d by 2 so up to a depth of d by 2 each wheel load is acting independently here you can see so now d by 2 on mele enagutta this is overlap start effect of wheel loads so now up to distance 2 years after distance 2 years this area is not going to overlapping so therefore you have to act here you can see uh, act depth 2 years and above the stresses induced are due to the effect of both wheels as the area of overlap is considered so the total stresses uh, dual due to the dual wheels at any depth greater than 2 years is considered to be equivalent single wheel load of magnitude 2p. Andre, 2 years mail in the in uh, distance uh, depth in the mail in the la. So other than ESWL which is equal to 2 multiplied by p. So now so how to determine this equivalent single wheel load so nanage equivalent single lead calculate madbeku dual wheel load assembly kottirtare adrinda equivalent single wheel load calculate madbeku there are three methods to calculate the or to determine the equivalent single wheel load so one is by boyd and foster method so this is also called as graphical method boyd and uh, foster method which is also called as graphical method so now second one is graph uh, bosiness method which is also called as stress criteria and the stress method and the health way the third one is foster and alu uh, aluins method so this is called as deflection criteria <coughs> this is also called as deflection criteria or deflection method nim syllabus igirudu only foster and aluels method that is by deflection criteria but still we will discuss both the methods okay so now we will go to the method first one is graphical method or void and foster method so here uh, see void and foster method uh, graphical method so we first uh, coordinates find martivi x and y Find the coordinates of x and y where x is p and d by 2 and y is equal to 2p, 2s. x and reno is coordinates of p. So here you can see graphical method and reno on the graph on the log graph actually log to log. So x axis is the depth of the pavement. Okay, depth below the surface. Okay. So 
y axis alli enide loads ide p and 2p okay so now x coordinate enu p and d by 2 y coordinate enu 2p and 2s so now first we need to calculate the values of uh, find the values of x and y where x is equal to log p uh, and log d by 2 and y is equal to log 2p and log 2s so plot these coordinates on the ordinary graph and find the eswl for required thickness at a depth z so now here you can see uh, illodi so d by 2 p is x 2s 2p is y so namage idr madhe edr p matte 2p madhe enirutte equivalent signal will be left agutte so that will be acting at certain depth z z1 anta consider maadi so after you plot in this graph you just extend this z line okay on to the uh, curve then get it back to the y axis where you will get the equivalent single wheel load okay so once you solve the problem you will get to know here you can see the problem uh, the problem says like this a dual wheel load assembly has a total load of 4100 kg andre dual wheel load assembly aithi adru eradrudu total wheel load esthiti 4100 kg aithi and a contact radius of 10 cm ಅದರದ ವೀಲ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ದ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದೆ 10 ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಇದು ಎ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೋ ನೌ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ವೀಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ 35 ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇದೆ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ದ ಇಎಸ್ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕಲ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ 20 ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ 35 ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ 2p ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಕೊಟ್ಟನವ ಟೋಟಲ್ ವೀಲ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೊಟ್ಟನ 4100 kg ಕೊಟ್ಟನ ಓಕೆ ಸೋ देयर ಫಾರ್ 2p ಇದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ವೀಲ್ ಮೇಲಿನ ಲೋಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟು 2p 4100 kg ಸೋ देयर ಫಾರ್ 2p 4100 kg देयर ಫಾರ್ p 4100 ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ 2 2050 kg ಸೋ s 35 cm ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ಇದು ಒಂದು ವೀಲ್ ಇದು ಒಂದು ವೀಲ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಪಿ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು 35 ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿ which is not given that we have to find so ನಮಗೆ ಏನು ಗೊತ್ತೈತಿ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಡಿ 2a ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತೈತಿ so therefore d is equal to s 2a ಹೌದಲ್ಲ s ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೊಟ್ಟನ 35 ಕೊಟ್ಟನ minus 2 a ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೊಟ್ಟನ 10 cm ಕೊಟ್ಟನ so therefore it will be 15 cm d s ಆಗುತ್ತ 15 cm ಆಗುತ್ತ so now x has a coordinate p and d by 2 p value gotte namaga 2050 d by 2 d value 15 d by 2 is 7.5 cm y as a coordinates 2p and 2s 2p andre 4100 kg 2s value s value kotan 35 cm 2s 70 cm agutta so now x andre ena log p log d by 2 new values log 2050 madadaga 7.6 cm barutta log 7.5 cm madadaga 2.01 barutta y coordinates log 2p matte log 2s so log 2p is log 4100 log 2s is log 70 cm which is 8.31 and 4.24 idana nin plot madadaga graph alli ee tara curve barutta okay so namage illu nodri values hakkondivi so nanage en beki next 20 cm depth ge beku matte problem daga en kelana find out the uh eswl using graphical method at a depth of 20 cm and 35 cm 20 and 35 namage illu nodri depth enaithi log values adavu adakke neevu log 20 calculate maadri eno ond value baruthe log 35 calculate maadri ond value baruthe nan kade calculator illa so please go through this so idu eno for example eshto ond value baruthe andre namage 2.3 athwa 2.4 baruthe anukodi ಇಲ್ಲ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂತ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದರ ಆಂಟಿ ಲಾಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಡೆಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ವೀಲ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಅಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀನು ಎಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಲ್ ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಆಂಟಿ ಲಾಗ್ ಆಂಟಿ ಲಾಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇದು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ನೀವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ನ ನಾನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿನಿ ಈಗ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಎರಡೂ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಆದ ಎಷ್ಟು
ಒಂದ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಐತಿ ಒಂದ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿನಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒಂದ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನನಗ್ ಕಳಿಸ್ರಿ ಈಗ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಾಗ ಏನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಡಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ